and welcome back to my channel today we are going to make something sweet and i'm talking here about creating mini tarts it's easy and very fast and a lot of ingredients you can find at home uh, for your convenience let me just um start working on base or if you want to call this crust i have about three cups of oat flour and i made it um by myself it was very easy but uh, if it is more convenient for you or you just get it from the store so i will uh, just go ahead put it in my bowl again three cups of oat flour is going in and for my base i also going to use another flour so i will combine oat flour with one to one gluten-free flour one cup of it i will also add flex seed meal with my uh, flour one for cup of it a little bit of allspice just br bring this uh, extra flavor one half cup of sugar i will go ahead uh, mix all the uh, dry ingredients right now You can even use your hand to uh, do better job of mixing if you want to. Now I'm adding wet ingredients. Uh, so I have about one for cup of apple cider vinegar, one for cup of uh, canola oil, and a little bit of almond extract just to taste. I will go ahead and stir all the ingredients right now. Now I'm going to use my hand to help myself with creating base. Uh, so I will um, work it out and I will also um, see um if i maybe need a little bit more oil uh, so far it's combining very well so i dump that um, on my counter and work it uh, with my hands And it's almost perfect, but I think that I need a little bit of oil. We're gonna bring um, my base together as much as possible. So let me just add a little bit more. So far right now, maybe uh, one tablespoon and we, I will see how this is going to work for me. And it smells amazing already. I still feel like I need to add a little bit of oil. Two tablespoons. Let's see. To bring my dog together. I just created shortbread crust.
that's what we need. Now I'm going to brush my baking pan with a canola oil. Let me make sure that crust uh, won't stick to the bottom of my baking pan. And this way, it's going to uh, I'll cut better. Good. So I will uh, transfer my crust um, into my baking pan and I'm using the uh, wider spoon for it. See, it, it was not too hard. And it's fragile and this is how it's, it's supposed to be. and I will uh, spread it out with my hands all over the baking pan. Okay, and uh, making sure it is done uh, evenly. I will brush the top of my uh, short shortbread crust uh, with uh, canola oil. Make sure not to get dry during the uh, baking process. Shortbread uh, crust, so it's a little fragile. But this is what we want, huh? I always can fix that with your hands. Uh, it is ready to go in uh, 350 for about 20 minutes. In the meantime, I will work on filling for my crust. And I have a, a homemade oat milk. I made it today, it was very fast. But uh, if you like different kind of vegan milk, welcome to use it. Then I'm going to use it for my filling and I'm going to pour in three cups of it. Outside. Mm. Okay. So I have three cups of old milk. I will add with it almond almond extract. about one half teaspoon and it smells amazing already uh all spice just to taste and i will go ahead and Mix my wet ingredients right now. Now, I'm going to add one half cup of sugar. Ooh, it bubbles. <laughs> Taste it to, to make sure that's sweet enough and perfect. And stir it one more time. And I will pour it into a saucepan and bring it 
to my, my, my milk to a boil. Then I will add agar powder. So milk mixture is going in. If you prefer to add maple syrup of agave instead of sugar, go ahead, go for it. And it smells amazing already. Let's come up to the stove. I will turn the uh, heat on um, medium high at first. Again, I will bring this to a boil. So I'm making sure to, to stir it. My milk mixture is boiling. This now, and add agar powder, and it's going to be three tablespoons. One, two, and three. I will go ahead and stir it well. Smells good. It does. So my, my filling is ready and I will wait for my crust to be done before all over, all over it. The crust is all done. Looks like that. I allow my shortbread uh, to cool off a little bit. And next, I will sprinkle unsweetened uh, coconut flakes over my crust. I will go ahead and pour it all over my crust. I'm making sure a, all the crust is covered. All the crust is filled with it. So far, so good. If you miss a spot, go ahead and fix it with your uh, spoon. I will let it cool down uh, before I add other ingredients, but I will tell you what it is after we come back to it. So see you soon. Welcome back. And we have it ready. Uh, and right now I will uh, go ahead and cut the whole cross into uh, squares that are not going to be perfect squares. I will try it all. Come back to my um, paper knife. Okay. And cut it in horizontal way right now to get those squares. Okay. And then I'll cut them vertically. Uh, I put the, my uh, crust in the fridge for some time uh, to be a little colder in, in order for my feeling to, uh, to to get thicker. Now I need to uh, carefully transfer them into a plate. 
I just go ahead and go around each of them okay to make sure they uh, will transfer well for me to have it a little bit too um, white okay the first square some squares are a little bit uh, bigger than others which is okay Beautiful. Thank you. And again, this is a uh, short wrap, so it's a little fragile, but this is charm of it. so much mm -hmm. I like it myself my first five yeah I will top each of them with frozen fruit I have uh, strawberries um, mango and Blueberries, you can use any fruit you like to use. So go on top. Now it is time to bring a little bit of sweetness. And finally sprinkle uh, coconut flakes or overall. And they look amazing. Aren't they? Look at them. And I cannot wait to eat them. I'm ready I'm for testing. Mmm. Absolutely amazing. Wow. Hmm. Absolutely amazing. Not too sweet. That's what we wanted. I love it. Hmm. If you like my recipe, and don't forget to subscribe, and please talk for begin for animals. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone. Mm. Mm.